Last year, we had devastating news. A young man that worked at our hospital passed away. It was heartbreaking, it was hard. He came from Fort Hall, Idaho, him and his wife, Lacey. They were so part of the community. They were so part of our culture. A lot of families came and enjoyed him. He was a pharmacist at our hospital. When you came to see him, he would smile real big. One of the fondest memories I had. Hey, Uncle Larry! And he'd jump around and smile from ear to ear. During that time, as they were planning to take him home, the Apaches here adored him so much. They loved him so much because of his personality, because of him as a man. He enjoyed working, he enjoyed dancing, he enjoyed life. But the Creator thought, we need somebody up there, and the Creator came. This family here, they came from Fort Hall, Idaho. This man, they're going to honor him. He came, he is of the Shoshone, Bannock, Kayak people. These are his relatives right here. It was hard when he went on. But the Apaches knew is that he was part of us. With their respect and consideration, they allowed him to come for one afternoon to that place in town. That mortuary people said one hour only of viewing. Ladies and gentlemen, that day there were cars up and down the street. That place was so packed of people. They were standing inside, outside, down the street. It was supposed to be an hour. Different people got up and talked. The one of the most heartbreaking was when this old lady, Apache lady, got up and talked about him. How a good man he was. Even though she was sick, he brought happiness to her because of the way he was. Ladies and gentlemen, four hours people got up and talked about him. Four hours, they came from all the communities, all over. What was impressive was the older Apache people coming. People from his work, people from the community that he served, even people he worked with, they came. They came, they honored him by talking. They came to honor his memory. They came, even people came to sing because they enjoyed him. Ladies and gentlemen, from that time a year ago, the families here, even though they were heartbroken and sad, they did what they could because they knew he loved to chicken dance. They knew he loved to haul. He, they knew he loved life. And they decided to have this in his memory. And ladies and gentlemen, they're heartbroken, they're sad. As you know, we all go through this, each of our families. But they want you to know is that hopefully after this, you all will feel good. You all will feel happy. And above all, enjoy your family. Ladies and gentlemen, these people, the relatives, came from Fort Hall, Idaho to remember his memory. They asked during this honor song, he worked for the San Carlos Apache tribe. He worked for the Indian Hospital. During that time, many people came, as I said, council people came. They helped him take him home to where he's at now. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask for your prayers, your thoughts. Enjoy your family. Love your family. 
hug your family. At this time, we'd like you to come when they sing this song in his memory. The mother, the father, they said, it's been hard and difficult all year, but they want you to come dance. The people that knew him, the Apache people, the people that worked with him, come. And at this time, we're asking for that song by Spring Creek. Young men, please render the appropriate song. Thank you. Thank you. Throughout the year, they did what they could to provide the funds. They thank everybody that helped. They thank everybody that assisted them. And above all, they have love and respect for each and every one of you for doing this 
on behalf of their late son. Ladies and gentlemen, he grew up in Fort Hall, Idaho. As a young man, he was a gifted individual. Ladies and gentlemen, he was Dr. Kyle Chase Bacon, a young man that had a doctor's degree in pharmacy. He went to the University, Idaho State University, where he excelled academically. Those chicken dancers that come to dance in his honor and memory, like he said, you speak. You, as he said, you speak and share. Remember him in your heart and your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much on behalf of this family that all came from Fort Hall, Idaho. They're, they represent the Shoshone, the Bannock, the Paiute families. And at this time, they're inviting all the chicken dancers in the arena, please, 18 and over. One of the top prizes is a fully beaded outfit that was made by various family members because of their love for this individual. As you dance, remember yourself. Remember your family, remember your loved ones. We are not promised tomorrow. We are not going to live forever. Remember and only part oh, okay. have respect and love for your family first. For yourself. <laughs> Kelly Grant, we'd like you to come up, please. Nathaniel Lowy. Now we got all the judges. Spring Creek, appropriate song, please. The judges are around the arena. Dancers, you're on. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, they know this is hard because everybody here is a good dancer, a champion dancer. They gave it their all. And the family expresses thank you to all the dancers that came. It's a hard decision to choose two, to choose the ten. The remaining dancers, the regular family would like you to come up to receive an honor and just say thank you very much. Thank you. 
ladies, at this time, as all is instructed, take the other way, take the other way. At this time, there is going to be a luck of the draw. Each dancer will receive a card. And one card will win the bingo. This is the only way they decided to be fair. They know each of you are champions. Each of you can dance. Each of you gave it to your best. The family decided this is to each give each one a card. And with this, whoever has that winning card will receive the people. Ladies and gentlemen, 